Hi, I'm Patricia O'Connell, Management Editor of Business Week. I'm here today with Terrence Dudley, a Grammy-nominated producer and songwriter. Welcome, Terrence. We don't get a lot of Grammy nominees here. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Terrence, I know that you've been focusing a lot more lately on working with inspiring other people and sort of uh, putting together lessons about achievement, success, and more importantly, how people recover from adversity. In your work with people and in the people you've been interviewing and hearing their stories, what does everyone have in common? There must be a few things that you hear from everybody you talk to. Oh, one common thread I've found is that everyone has, you know, lost a loved one or had uh, someone tell them that, oh, you can't do this, and, and so they've had to get around that in order to achieve whatever they want. So what... <coughs> What seems to hold people back, though, is it is it the personal losses that they might go through? Is it the messages they're getting from other people? Is it circumstantial? What 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 seems to hold people back? I think it's a little bit of all of what you said. Um, personally, yes, um, if you don't have a, a sturdy foundation at home, or you, you might not have that, or you might not be surrounded with uh, people at work that motivate you to, to go further, uh, you know. So you have to find mentors and find people to push you forward. So how do you find those mentors? How do you find that kind of support system if it's not readily available to you? I, you just reach out. I mean, you can read, read books, uh, uh, watch television programs, and, and just find out, okay, how do, where these kind of people kind of hang out? And, you know, just in your daily travels, you may talk to someone in a restaurant and they may say, hey, well, my brother is a so-and-so and so. Maybe he can talk to you. And you go from one to the next to the next, and uh, you just put together a support system. So it sounds like it's very important that you have some vision, some idea of where it is that you want to go, what it is that you want to achieve. That's correct. That's okay. Correct. And then keep. And it, it sounds also like you really need to be relentless, you know, the idea that you need to talk to everyone because eventually somebody is going to know somebody. How did you get your start? Um my, I got my start, I was on a train, and I was sitting across from a gentleman who had a uh, Warner Brothers uh, single, and uh, I looked at it, and he, had, he also had on the Warner Brothers jacket, you know, with the bunny. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, little bugs. Yeah, little bugs. <laughs> so uh, I, I asked, started asking questions, and he said, you know, I'm a producer, and I write for so-and-so, and so and so And you already knew at that point you wanted to be a producer. Well, actually... Going back a little further than that, um, I had a chance meeting with uh, a guy who was the vocal coach for Whitney Houston and for Cindy Lauper at that time. And in talking to him, I told him all the things that I did and what I wanted to do. And he said, well, it sounds like you want to be a record producer. So then my next question was, okay, well, how do I become a record producer? So he said, well, you need to start writing songs and then find someone to sing your songs. So then... Coming back to the guy that I met on the train, uh, once he told me he was a producer and he had groups, I said, okay, well, can I write for some of your groups? Okay, and that's that's how you got started. That's how I got Do you find that with a lot of people, there are these kind of chance encounters that actually help them along? Yeah, I think in everyday life, uh, you're going to want, you're going to run across something or someone that can help you a little further. You just have to notice it. I mean, it, it could be a little slight thing, but, you know, once you know, like, it, we going back to what we said in the beginning, once you have a goal, things that will take you to that goal seem to come along, mm -hmm. and then you start to notice. Right. If you hadn't known that you wanted to be in the record business, you probably wouldn't have paid attention to the guy with the Warner Brothers. Exactly. Okay. Any last pieces of advice you'd want to give anyone? Uh, my main thing is to, every day, you just get up and say, what am I going to do towards my goal? And it could be a small thing, it could be a big thing, but if you take baby steps, eventually they'll lead you to your goal. Okay, well, Terrence, thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you so much for having me.